couple of quick finds we had over the last couple of weeks here. So I've got some cool stuff here at garage sale. Uh, here are the first few are from the garage sale. We've got some John Lennon. Nice original pressing and Blizzard of Oz. Pretty happy about that. Rush's Signals. Aerosmith uh, featuring Dream On. This is, of course, their very early stuff here. This is an original pressing. It's not in perfect condition, but pretty good. The B-52s, an original pressing as well. Uh, this is the second cover of uh, Some Girls by the Rolling Stones. This is not the one with the uh, famous faces on there. However, still pretty cool. Uh, all of these were $5 a piece, so not bad. Uh, Little Steven, Disciples of Soul. Uh, we have the Magical Mystery Tour album from the Beatles with the 24-page color booklet inside, which is still really nice and intact. Dead or Alive, Youthquake. Uh, you know, we're kind of digging back into more of the 80s kind of synthy goth pop stuff, so we're digging on that. A Shave Fish by Lennon Plastic Ono Band. Uh, and then we have Aerosmith here, Get Your Wings. This one's really in pretty bad shape, but the record is in good shape, so uh, it'll sound great. Rick Springfield, Success Hasn't Spoiled Me Yet. The dog returns, uh, you know, you got to love the, the dog on the front. Romantics uh, in Heat. And then uh, the last thing I believe from the Scratch Show was Def Leppard's Pyromania, an original pressing also. So for five bucks, that's pretty sweet. Uh, we have a uh, white vinyl of Billie Eilish's Hit Me Hard and Soft. I've been digging this new record more than her last one. Uh, Stevie Nicks' Wild Heart. This was also from the garage sale uh, for, for five bucks. So anything Stevie Nicks is cool. A green pressing of Green Day, which, uh, warning, which we already have this on vinyl, but my wife is crazy about Green Day releases. So there we go. Ones and sixes by Lowe. I really, really love Lowe, and I'm sad uh, that, that uh, the drummer and... Uh, one of the co-founders, Mimi, passed away. But uh, great band. So you'll see some low stuff in here. Just decided to pick up a bunch of their stuff because I don't didn't have it on vinyl. Pennywise, full circle. I think this is the next to last Pennywise record I need uh, on vinyl. Low, Things We Lost in the Fire. Uh, this is a really great record. I really enjoyed that. So glad to have that. The only Perfect Circle we didn't have for some reason was Eat the Elephant. And I like this record. I know not all Perfect Circle fans agree, but I do enjoy that. Come On by Low, once again. Um, I just grabbed any low I did. I actually got one that I already had, Songs for a Dead Pilot EP. So this may be a giveaway uh, on the Instagram. Eventually we'll see if I'm going to give this one away to uh, someone else in the vinyl community since I don't really need it. Uh, low, The Invisible Way. Uh, Allison Chan's A Bootleg, Barrowland, Glasgow. I'm sure this is going to sound uh, terrible, but it's a bootleg live and it's Allison Chan's from the early 90s. So I got it. Um, this is Lowe's Hey What. This is kind of more of the electronic kind of um, more of the electronic um, industrial vibe they were going for the last couple records uh, before her untimely demise. Uh, here we have a nice hip hop album, Raised by Rap. Uh, this has some Tribe Called Quest and some Fugees, uh, DMC, just a lot of with some little Nas X even on here. So newer stuff, older stuff, uh, two LP set. Very happy to finally get the Bat Dance uh, soundtrack. This is the repressing. Uh, that, that came out not too long ago, so grabbed that finally. Fiona Apple, Win the Pawn. I believe that means the only record of hers I don't have is Title, which is strange because that's 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 the big one. Uh, we got some Freddie Gibbs and Madlib. Finally got a pressing of this on just black vinyl. I love Pinata, man. That's such a great record. This is uh, an original pressing that I picked up from my friend Antonio in Pittsburgh, uh, Retro Eden in Pittsburgh. So uh, this is the original pressing. Still has the shrink grab on it. It is in pretty darn good shape, but this also inspired me to go and grab the repress. Uh, Six Feet Under, uh, they have a new album out. It is, God, it's terrible. But this is their second record here, uh, Warpath. And the first three albums from this band were really, really good. So I think Warpath's awesome to have on vinyl. The final of the Stephen Wilson solo records, the things that we didn't have, uh, in Insurgents, uh, this is a 2016 remaster. So we finally got that as well. This is another repeat because we didn't know we had the record store day of this. My wife knew that I wanted The Blue Sky on Mars by Matthew Sweet, but this is The Blue Sky on Mars tour. So not really The Blue Sky on Mars. So I'm still looking for that. More Matthew Sweet, Cat Spy, his most recent release. Pretty solid record. Uh, here we have Altered Beast, one of his more uh, well-known earlier works. This is a cool numbered copy on blue vinyl. So cool to have that. Some, some Mike Patton, you can't go on with that. Some General Patton versus the Executioners. I didn't love this record, but I'm glad to have it. And man, I've been looking for D'Angelo's Voodoo and uh, The Attic in Pittsburgh had it. And man, this is just a great, such a great R&B record. I'm so excited to have this. Uh, people went wild with this shirtless video, but that's all my finds. I hope that you're happy with them. 
I hope that you're happy with this uh, D'Angelo close-up at the end. You can see shirtless D'Angelo there. And I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.